Hi, I'm here today to uh, update everybody on the uh, Kransky trial and to refresh your recollection, Kransky, uh, the Kransky case is the first uh, ASR case in the country to go to trial. Um, and uh, we're about two and a half weeks into the trial and I uh, wanted to give you an update on some of the things that happen, have happened over the last couple of days. Um, some important witnesses testified uh, the last few days. The first is uh, Dr. Sh Thomas Schmalsreed. Uh, Dr. Schmalsreed is uh, one of the physician designers of the ASR hip. What that means is that he is a uh, orthopedic surgeon uh, based in Los Angeles and he and uh, some other doctors uh, were responsible for uh, designing the ASR hip. Uh, what was important about his testimony is he talked a lot about how um, uh, he and a few other physicians were responsible for designing the hip and then working with Depew uh, to deal with safety issues. Um, and Depew really relied on uh, uh, Dr. Schmalzreed and some of these other physicians uh, with respect to the safety aspects of this hip and making sure that it was safe. Um, now, what really uh, the plaintiff's attorneys really tried to drive home in this case was that um, uh, Depew actually put this person in charge of safety, but at the same time, he had a substantial financial interest in the product. Um, there was lots of testimony about the fact that Dr. Schmalzreed uh, received royalty payments for every ASR hip that was sold and had a financial interest in making sure that it made the market and stayed on the market. Um, specifically, the, the testimony that came out was that he made uh, $3.6 million uh, in royalties from the Depew ASR uh, during the time it was on the market. Another surgeon, design surgeon on this team, who's instrumental in helping design the hip, uh, uh, Dr. Vale from San Francisco, uh, he made about $2 million uh, on the ASR. And the plaintiff's attorneys really tried to show um, that uh, what you had was a situation where uh, Depew was putting people in charge of safety uh, who really uh, had conflicting interests. Uh, they were more concerned about, and, and the theme of uh, Depew being more concerned about profits than people and patients uh, came through in this testimony. Um, the other thing that was very interesting about Dr. Thomas Schmalz Reed was he, he spoke about. Um, uh, his practice and his experience with the ASR and the number of revisions he had uh, with that hip. And he was, uh, you know, this is somebody who is intimately involved in, in metal on metal hips and dealing with people who have metallosis. And he testified that uh, with respect to um, what levels of cobalt and chromium would concern him and pose a safety issue, uh, he said that anything above two parts per billion. Uh, would be concerning and pose a safety risk in his mind. Um, that is significant because uh, Depew's attorneys uh, have repeatedly uh, argued during their opening argument that Mr. Kransky, who had cobalt and chromium levels of 40 parts per billion, uh, really was subjected to no safety or no health risks at all, and that uh, cobalt and chromium are essentially harmless metals that uh, are in food and they're in your body and really there's no need to worry about having uh, levels that are almost 40 times normal. Uh, so the testimony of Schmalz Reed I think helped the plaintiff a lot. Um, it cut against a lot of the uh, testimony uh, and, and arguments that Depew has made. It's important to know that we're still in the plaintiff's case. We have not got to the defendant's case yet. Um, but so far, it's looking pretty good. Another witness who testified was an individual named Craig Swenson. Uh, Mr. S Dr. Swenson is actually a surgeon in San Diego, um, and he had performed uh, 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 more than 200 ASR operations uh, where he used the hip. And he, had, he testified about the fact that he had a very substantial uh, revision rate, I think in the 30% range. Um, and uh, what he testified about that was really uh, another, uh, I think, insight into the way Depew does business is he talked about a meeting he had with the 
president of Depew named David uh, Floyd. And what he testified was that in March of 2010, and this is a time period that is about six months before Depew actually recalled the product, uh, Mr. Floyd told him that Depew was not going to be selling to ASR anymore. Um, and so what you have is a situation where, um, and there's been other testimony in this case as well about sales reps as early as January of 2010 telling uh, doctors that the ASR was going to be taken off the market. So what you have is this situation where it appears that as early as early, early January, February of 2010, the people at Depew knew the ASR was on its way out. Uh, but wasn't telling anybody about it. They hadn't issued a recall, um, and they appeared to be selling the products that were on the shelves. Um, the recall, as you may recall, didn't occur until August of 2010, months later. And so uh, this really gives some insight, I think, into uh, the Pew's mindset at the time and what they knew and, and how they knew it. Um, now, the other thing that uh, Dr. Swenson talked about was um, you know, he's done lots of revision surgeries, and he's seen lots of patients with what we call metallosis, and that's uh, the destruction of the soft tissue in the hip uh, from the metal particles, the cobalt chromium ions. Um, Depew, in their opening statement, uh, uh, talked about the fact that Mr. Kransky, the plaintiff in the case, um, had black stained tissue uh, in his hip. Um, and uh, what they testified or what they argued was that that black stained tissue was nothing to worry about, that it was just staining, um, didn't cause any tissue damage, it didn't harm the tissue in any way. Well, Dr. Swenson took issue with that. Uh, he testified that uh, he had encountered that, t that type of tissue in a lot of the revision surgeries he had done with the ASR, um, and that, uh, in his opinion, that tissue was definitely damaged tissue. It wasn't harmless. That staining was not harmless. Um, and I think he, he characterized it as a ridiculous statement. Um, so, uh, you know, the last couple days have been good for the plaintiff in the case. Um, uh, the testimony is building a, a very, very strong liability case here. Um, it appears that um, there is a lot of evidence that Depew knew they had problems with this hip early on. Um, did nothing about it, continued selling it, um, and uh, even at the highest levels of the company, uh, they knew there were problems. So stay tuned and we'll keep you updated on uh, new developments as they come in.